G'day and welcome back to the channel. I suppose you're wondering what's happened to the old mongrel. Well, here it is, looking very bland. Well, the livery's gone. And um, I've actually started to pick it apart. So, yeah, the mongrel is officially no more. So, from here, it's pretty much staying the same. So this front tail, the engine, um, all the 30 stuff staying on it, apart from the doors, which I'm going to be uh, replacing. I've got a full original set of 1930, 31 fenders for it. So they're gonna go back on it, the running boards and all that sort of stuff. And uh, once I've finished picking off this um, coupe back and the doors will be removed, it's going to be uh, turned into a very cool, old school, fully fended, traditional, woody delivery, which um, I'm pretty excited about. It's going to be an easy build. It's just basically making a, I'm going to make a steel frame with a timber back and um, yeah, keep all the running gear as it is, although the motor does need to come out. I've got to sort out the rear main, it's got a pretty good leak. I've got to get a new radiator for it and um, just fix up a couple of little things that um, weren't right with it before, so not a hard build at all. Running gear is pretty much staying as it is. This thing was always meant to be a woody. If you look at my original old school army logo, there's a woody on it, and that was what this was going to be. So we're kind of going back to that, but I'm probably not going to do the old um, light colour timber. It's going to be more old school painted, I think. We'll see. It may change. So uh, what's happening with the coupe body, you ask? Well, here's the official before shot of the new coupe. Yep, new chassis. I've got my 28 close car cow. I've got that today. And um, it's awesome actually. It's in really good nick. So we'll be running that with the um, 28 doors and the coupe rear. Let me show you what's going in that hole. Here I have what was a running 21 stud. It's a 1940-41 model side bow Ford V8. Tucked down in there, you probably can't see it, is an original side bow V8 gearbox. But I don't know if I'm going to use that. I'm thinking maybe a T5, but we'll see how we go. So the look I'm going for is a 50 style channeled coupe uh, with steelies. I've got a nice set of bigs and littles. I've got their um, 820s. And these are, let me tell you what exactly what they are, um, G70s. Um, so yeah, you're kind of getting the picture. Although I do have a decent front and rear end for this um, traditional drum brake style, I am considering upgrading that. So maybe discs on the front and an open drive in the rear because I want to do an open drive anyway if I run the T5. So, that might just get upgraded, but we'll see how we go. The only sad part about this build is I've got, oh Dodge, will you stop it? I've got four cars I need to get done this year. Um, three of them like I really need to get done. This is number three on the list. Number one on the list is my mate's um, Blitz truck, which I started before I hurt my back and he's already paid me for that, so I have to get that done and I've promised him I won't be doing anything too much until that's done, so that's priority number one. Number two is going to be the uh, the woody wagon because that's a runner. That's gonna be easy. I'll be able to make the back of that quite quickly, put that together and keep it on the road. So I've got a hot rod on the road. And yeah, number three is this one. And number four is my Willie's Jeep, which I've started on which isn't a massive priority, but I do want to get that done because I've got a lot of other stuff I need to do as well. Like the F1 truck. So there you are. That's where we're at. Um, these videos will probably be humble jumbled a bit between the, um, the Woody and this thing. Um, but it should make for interesting viewing and I'm really excited about this build in particular. So it's gonna be a nice build. I'm not gonna make it all ratty as they call it. It's gonna be very cool, very traditional looking and um, something I'm going to be proud to drive around in. So 
So yeah, stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe. I hope you like that. Short but sweet. But that's what's happening. I've been getting asked a lot, so I thought I'd let you know. Cheers. Take it easy.